we're dealing with a topic called leverage. And you should recall now that there are two kinds of leverage now. There's operating leverage and financial leverage. Operating leverage is leverage brought about through the use of additional fixed costs. Financial leverage, leverage brought about through the use of additional debt and or preferred stock financing. Now, this first problem deals with operating leverage. And the way you analyze operating leverage is through what's called break-even analysis, which is what we're going to do here. Now, what they're going to ask us to calculate now is what's called operating break-even. And that's basically the level of sales that you need to have zero EBIT. That means you have zero money for paying the interest on your debt or paying uh, you know, the principal portion of your debt or any of these other things. But that's what they're asking us to calculate here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go through this. And at any rate, this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this problem reads as follows. It says Barry Carter is considering opening a video store. He wants to estimate the number of DVDs he must sell to break even. The DVDs will be sold for $13.98 each. Variable operating costs are $10.48 per DVD. The annual uh, fixed operating costs are $73,500. In the first part, they want us to calculate the operating break-even point uh, in number of DVDs. and the B part, calculate the total operating cost at the break-even volume found in the first part. Now, to calculate break-even now, uh, remember it's your fixed cost divided by the price per unit minus the variable cost per unit. This denominator, by the way, that's referred to as the contribution margin. If you take the fixed cost they told us about, $73,500, divide that by the price per unit, $13.98, minus the variable cost per unit, $10.48 we get 21,000 units. So if they sell 21,000 DVDs, uh, they would have zero EBIT. They also want us to calculate the operating cost uh, at break-even. Now the operating cost of a company is the company's fixed cost plus its total variable cost. And total variable cost is the number of units produced and sold multiplied by the variable cost per unit. So in this case, to find the total operating cost, we would take the fixed cost of the company, 73500 add to that the total variable cost, the number of units produced and sold, 21000 times the variable cost per unit, which is $10.48. All summed up, the operating cost uh, at break-even, $293,580.